Hi class, we're going to be reading Slap the Cat, Oopsie Daisy. This is based on the creation of Rob Scotton. Ready? We are going to be working on plants this next couple weeks, so I'm going to read about Slap the Cat. It was almost springtime. The weather was getting warmer, but the sky was still gray and rainy. Slat thought being inside, stuck inside was a waste of a Saturday afternoon. Slat perked up when a sobbing wet Seymour scurried into his room. Seymour was carrying a weird looking seed. Where did you get that? asked Splat. Seymour held up the seed and stared at it. Then he shrugged. I wonder what kind of seed it is, said Splat. It could be anything. Well, there's only one way to solve this mystery, said Seymour. Let's see if we can make it grow. I think we need to plant it first, Splat said. But I've never planted anything before. Do you know how to plant a seed? Seymour just shrugged. Okay, let's go to the library and find out, Splat announced. Splat and Seymour walked straight to the library to look for a book about gardening. The only problem was there was so much information. Splat wanted to grow one seed, not a whole field of corn. After staring at the shelves for a long time, Splat finally asked the librarian. She was happy to help him find the perfect book. The book said the first step was getting a pot and filling it with soil. <sighs> Not all the soil landed in the pot. Next, Splat planted the seed in the dirt. He set the flower pot on a sunny window sill. Then he watered the, the soil. Not all the water went into the pot. Splat checked the flower pot every day. He hoped and hoped for any sign of a sprout. He wondered what kind of plant it would be. Maybe the seed will grow into a wild garden of roses. <gasps> or maybe the seed would grow into a tree as tall as the sky. Splat couldn't wait to see what would grow. He sang to the seed, he read to it, he told it stories. For two whole weeks, Splat waited and waited for the seed to do something. Splat was ready to give up. Maybe the seed would never sprout. Feeling terribly disappointed, he watered the soil one last time, just in case. The dirt in the pot shifted a little when Splat watered, added water. A tiny green sprout <gasps> sprung up. Splat cheered loudly, but quickly shut his mouth. He didn't want to scare the little plant back into the soil. During the next week, the sprout grew a few tiny little leaves. Splat was thrilled when a few days later, a little bug appeared atop the stem. The next day, the bud opened and a bloom blossomed. It wasn't a wild jungle plant or a many colored rose or a tall, tall tree. It was a flower a little daisy and Splat knew just who to give it to. Who do you think he's gonna give it to? Oh, see, I 
love it, said Mom. It's the most special flower ever. Splat smiled as he hugged his mother. I grew it myself, Splat said, with a little help from Seymour. Okay, happy planting week. I'll see you guys later. Bye.